fine work. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and the ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy. And the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be... We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there. The sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last! We find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a guard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! <laughs> on me! <laughs> oh, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Okay. Let's finish them! Kill these heathen bastards! You have what you wish for, Dad. <laughs> Come 
Surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Look here. They ate rats for supper. Explains why they fought like vermin. into you. Eivor, look at this. A nice truck. Wait, who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men have prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did, till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I read their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the Sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the Sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks, start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli, Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. 
I have a good feeling about this place. Oh. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the Sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build, expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of... 